just what I wished for card from Build a Bear Workshop. a new husband by her side. Our first guest was made 2011, a year to remember. Please welcome Country Music's Female Vocalist of the Year, Miranda Lambert. <laughs> Congratulations all around. Your number one album. Yes. Album being number one and getting married. Yay! What is Yay. it like? What is married life like? Well, we haven't seen each other very much, so it's great. <laughs> <laughs> we got married in May and we were both on tour, so it was kind of like, okay, see you in the fall. So it's starting to slow down now and it's it's been really cool. We got to spend a little bit of time at home. Now your husband, Blake Shelton, I don't I don't care. Is so charming. You may not know this. He was the first guest to come on the talk where we invited him to sit at the table with us. It used to be like this thing, like the table is only for like the hosts of the show. We used to do all the interviews on that couch. And he was so charming. And so he, we were like, you know what? We think it's the Blake Shelton blessing. Every guest is going to be just as fabulous. They sit at this table. So we changed the way we did the show because of your husband. Really? Yeah. He was like, he fell right in and became like one of us. And I was here with him. I was watching in the dressing room. I came here with him that day, but I didn't get to say hi to any of you. No. no. Now, I also heard he's so charming that he surprised you with a honeymoon that you didn't think you had time for. Yeah, we were so we were so busy this year, so we barely, I mean, we took just enough time off to get married, and um, we, I just kind of decided, okay, let's just stay home. We never get to be home, so let's just have a hometown honeymoon. So we were there for three days. We went fishing and rode four-wheelers, like, just total laid back, and then... He asked me to go on a road trip, and I was like, okay. He was like, well, I'll show you around Oklahoma, because I'm from Texas. And so he was going to drive me to these landmarks in Oklahoma, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. How romantic. And Fun. we drove to the private airport, and I was like, oh, what are you doing? He was like, oh, I left my boots here. I was like, oh, you got a jet to Cabo? And he was like, actually, there's a jet out there waiting. And I was oh. like, what? So he surprised me, took me to Cancun with two of our best friends, and we stayed three days there. It was awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a keeper. He is. He's a good one. You guys, you, you both have such huge lives, and you're blending them a little bit, but it's been challenging, right? Because you haven't blended them perfectly. Like, you each have a house. How, how, like, what is it? How far apart? Six miles apart from each other? We both have farms. Okay. Yes, and so neither one of us were... When we got engaged, I was like, well, I'm not selling the farm. <laughs> he was like, well, I'm not either. So we, we actually bought a new place together, a piece of land. So we're hoping to build a house one of these crazy um, days, but... But you don't stay in separate homes. No, not usually. Do you, no. go, back, <laughs> do you ever yeah. go back to your old place? And yeah, like... it's like, it's kind of cool because, you know, we can, we can sort of, when we're at home, since we're on the road so much, we do like our space a little bit sometimes because yeah. we're not used to being together that much. So it's kind of cool. I think that's going to be good for us. It is. Go to your house, you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll always have that backup plan. Then you can plan. have dates. You know, you can be like, come meet me at my come house. Over for yeah. <laughs> now, at this new place you're building, you guys planning on having a family there? Well, not right now. We have a lot of our rescue animals, and we have eight dogs. Wow. <laughs> you have so every, eight dogs? Yes. They all sleep in the bed? No. <laughs> three of them do. <laughs> Were all eight yours, or half they're, his, half they're yours? They're combined. Kind of. It's, it's a, like a Brady It's like country. a blended family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, you know, we... The last one that wandered up, just, we didn't plan on keeping her, but now I'm kind of attached. She's a red bone hound. Oh. She's very vocal, so I'm just attached to her. Oh. I know. Okay, there she is, That's Ophelia is her name. Yeah. So you already have a lot of babies then. Yeah, and every time I'm like, you know, oh, well, kids, kids are so cute. And then, like, a friend of mine will come over with their kids that are running absolutely everywhere crazy. And I'm like, maybe we should wait a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or get a puppy. That's good birth control. <laughs> so, so now your parents are private investigators, and you used to go on surveillance trips with them? They were my whole life, yeah. And to me, it was, like, just my parents' job. Mm -hmm. Looking back, it was pretty cool. But, um, yeah, my mom would not have a babysitter that day or whatever. So my brother and I would pile in the back of the Suburban and lay down a color on the floor while she was watching some dude's house. What were they? On his wife. Yeah. 
Yeah. Is that what it usually was? Mostly like, like child custody and like divorce cases. Yeah. So you lived a TV drama. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I just kind of still do, I guess. <laughs> but now you know how to track Blake down if he goes somewhere. Oh, honey. Yeah. 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 Be warned, Blake. We're going to have much more with Miranda Lambert when we come right back. Whether over a cup of Maxwell House or a can of paint, you turned millions of votes and on 20th. For more information, go to floridastatefair.com. See why this Mrs. Claus is worth millions to our community tonight at 6. We're back with Miranda Lambert. Um, so this is your fourth number one album. Is that, did I get that right? Yeah. You know, obviously, millions of people love your music, but I think another thing that people really love about you is they feel that you're a regular girl, you're a normal person, you know, and you're not kind of putting on any airs. I mean, why do you, do you why do you feel people feel that way about you? I mean, I do sitting next to you, but you know, I'm just you know, I don't ever. I have really good, I guess, raising, as we say in Texas. <laughs> like my parents, I have a good foundation, and I just don't let any of it, you know, change my personality. I love my job. I have a great job, but um, I'm just a country girl, and I'm a proud size eight, and I. You know, work out, stay healthy, but I'm just like... When did you know that you could sing? When did you... Wait, did you always think, oh, my goodness, I've got to do this as a, a life choice? When I was 17, it was, like, time to either go to college and fail, which I knew I would, or <laughs> start a band. So uh, I kind of told Mom and Dad, look, if you'll believe in me, I'll work my butt off to make this happen. But and you knew. Yeah, you it, was, knew. it was the only thing that really came naturally to me. I was always... Had to study extra hard to just pass and was a cheerleader and had to stay extra for extra dance. So, but nothing ever came naturally till I started playing guitar and singing. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay, this, something's going on here. Did this your parents good. endorse it? Like when you said, I'm not yeah. going to college, I'm going to start a band, they were 100% behind you or did it take convincing? They were. They were like, if you're serious, you know, but I didn't have a backup plan. So it was like, it's on your head now. And dad was like, I'll spend the money I would have spent on college. On your career, but wow. you're gonna have to work hard. And Sweet, I did. Yeah, but nice. you it worked out. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> I think it's also when when someone's young and they and, and they're passionate and they can express that to their parents, like this is what I want to do. They saw that in you, obviously, yeah. you know. And then obviously you're like amazing talent. You can hear the truth. You can hear in your child that they're not kidding around, that they know that this is what I've got to do now. Yeah. Yeah, and, they, and I love that. I don't know how people do it without family support. I mean, that's what got me through. At 17, I started working at a bar and playing music. And so just to be thrown in there, I would have never made it without By yourself? Or did you, have a, uh, did you have Well, they had to go until I turned 18 because I couldn't get in. <laughs> no, 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 but I mean, oh. what, were you on the stage by yourself? No, I had a band. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, pretty much had a you, band you picked them, You picked them friends? Mm -hmm. And you have a new band, too, don't you? I do. I started a girl band two years yeah. ago. Yeah. Um, they're called The Pistol Annie, and we had an album come out in August, and it debuted at number one on the country chart, too. So, really country. It's Loretta Lynn inspired and it's me and my two girlfriends. Yeah. And it's kind of housewife scorned music. All right. Yeah. <laughs> now I want to hear about your duet with Blake that you did for For the Record. How was that? It was cool. We don't collaborate all that much because we're so different, our music and our taste, but um, it was really neat to go in the studio and, and just kind of go to that next level in our, in our relationship and really push each other. I respect him so much as a, vo a vocalist and mm -hmm. he respects me too. So it was kind of like we we're sitting there looking at each other like, okay, bring it, you know? And it, was, <laughs> it was good. It was friendly competition. That's awesome. All right, it's time for a little game now, Miranda. It's a game that we like to call To Tell the Tweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in front of Miranda, everyone, she has a list of tweets. Now she's going to read them one by one, and after she reads one, we hosts are going to take turns deciding true or false. Did Miranda really tweet that, or was it a different celebrity? All right, tweet number one, Miranda Lambert. Getting toenails done. I feel bad for this girl doing it. I have country girl feet. <laughs> true. <laughs> All right. One for team talk. Okay. Romance isn't dead. Treat your lady right, fellas. False. Oh. Do I get to tell who it is? Yes, who tweeted that? The Beebs. The Beebs. Oh, Justin Beebs. Bieber. Okay, ready? I am. I'm nervous and ready. <laughs> <laughs> Says important. 
Although it is funny at first, never teach your dogs to knock on the door with their tail. Stop it. Stop that. <laughs> I would have to say that is true. You did that. You've got eight dogs. Thank you. Thank you and good night. It was a good night. It's okay. You can dance. I heard you say it. <laughs> that was actually my husband. That was oh, your hubby. Close. Oh, yeah. yeah. You should get your like other half. half. No, that's yeah. half a point. Well, well, let me yeah. just say my yeah. wife loves him. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> okay. I'm in Denver for a private show. Ninth show in 11 days. And all the craziness, I forgot my eyeliner, so I just used Sharpie. Oh, I think that's you. Ding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try that. Huh? It kind of burned at first, but then it went away. <laughs> it worked you, come you had eyeliner for you, you had eyeliner for a long time. Yeah, for like right? two days. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, last one. You ready? Yes. I need to get my cake filled ass to the gym. I hope there's cake there. <laughs> False. That's not you. No. Oh, who said it? You said it. Miranda Lambert, ladies and gentlemen. Miranda, thank you thank for you being here. You can find information about Miranda's concert dates on thetalk.com. Her album, For the Record, is in stores now. And everyone in our studio audience,